Hey everyone, it's Oscar. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Now, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create clay prompts um, or AI prompts that actually do what you want. And this is specifically for people who use like clay or persona or similar tools uh, to write personalized first lines. That's what we're going to focus on in this video. Now, um, I'm making this video because a lot of people have problem with this. Um, they create prompts and the output is extremely inconsistent. They ask them to return return the name of a you know company's past client and it returns like all sorts of different variables and sometimes even the well prospect's name um just the company name of the lead and not even a client's um name so this is a huge problem for a lot of people and writing clay prompts is actually super simple and I've created a template that works basically all the time and I'm going to share it in this video. Now, there are many methods for writing clay prompts. I'm not saying this is the best method on the market. Um, I'm just saying this is what I do and this works for me. So watch this video, try this template and well, form your own opinion of it. And you can also make adjustments to it and let me know if you do that and find improvements because I'm eager to learn. Um, all right, so first of all, let's talk about the components. So the components of a good uh, clay prompt, or for me at least, is role. So the role, what you want the prompt, the AI agent to act as, and the context. So basically why the task is important. So they understand yeah, well, the context, essentially. Then it's a task, what you want them to perform. Then it's requirements. So um, what you need um, in order, what you need in the final output, essentially. So this can be length, this can be prefix, suffix. Uh, you get the idea. Then it's instructions. And that's basically instructions on how to perform the task. And then it's an example output. So how you want it to look like. So I'm going to create a template now and show you sort of how you can do this. So I want you to act as, and then it's the row plus context. And then it's, I want you to, and then it's task. And then it's requirements. Oh, that's okay. Sorry if I misspell some words here. Um, and then it's requirements, then it's instruction, and then it's example. That's it. So it's I want you to act as role plus context, I want you to perform task, and um, then it's requirement, and then it's instruction, and then it's example. So now we're going to create a prompt using this exact um, well template. So let's start. Start. I want you to act as. Uh, okay, now I need to think here. What should we? Okay, let's do um, personalized first sentence based on a person's um, recent LinkedIn post. That's what we're going to do. I want you to act as a uh, founder who's reaching reaching out to a. LinkedIn influencer um, who can promote your product. For the influencer to read your message, you need to show that you've done um, your research. Research. The best way to accomplish this is by summarizing their most recent LinkedIn post. So, okay, so now we have the role and context, and then it's just the task. I want you to visit the influencer's LinkedIn profile, find their recent post, and summarize it using up to 15 words. 
your final output must include my prefix. Here is my prefix. Uh, just read your oh, read your post about. Uh, okay, so now we have the task and requirements. Uh, now it's time for instruction. First, we can just here is the um, influ influencers. LinkedIn profile URL and then here we're gonna have the URL obviously to the LinkedIn influencer um, you will find their most recent post by clicking on now let's just do real quick here All right. just gonna see what this button is called uh, show all active show all posts perfect by clicking on show all posts here is an example of what your final output should look like just read your post about booking 90 demo calls in 30 days all right so now we have role plus context here so you're a influencer you are reaching out to that and now it's important the context is why they need to summarize the post which is for them to read your message and I want you to visit so here's the task and then we have the requirement up to 15 words and it must include my prefix then we have the well, input, so the LinkedIn influencer, LinkedIn profile URL. And then it's a short instruction here. Obviously, in this case, it doesn't have to be that. Um, but you sometimes have to expand on this depending on the well level of the task. And here's an example of what your final output should look like. So now we can take this. This will be extremely awkward if this sucks now. I don't think so because I've done this a million times. Um, okay. So now we go in here, we paste this, then we all we have to do is add the LinkedIn profile URL. Um, and yeah, I have a lot of clay credits that I need to spend, so I'm just going to use um, this. Right, save, and now we run for five rows. And let's see what the output says. Alright, so while we wait for this, I'm just going to go ahead and add a few more. So let's take um, this one right here. Add it. Let's go back. Take, you know, this. Can I... Thank you. All right. Now we wait. I'm just gonna. Okay. Here we go. Just got the first one here. So now we can read this uh, post. This here. Okay. So here. Just read your post about your campaign building process where you created 10 new campaigns this week. Come on. Why is it always like this when you're showing something? It's either slow or it doesn't work. Why can't it just work? <laughs> it never takes this long here. Just read about your post about trying LinkedIn automation to book appointments. Just read your post about, okay, now it's just... Just read your post about leaders of the misunderstanding culture and how to do follow-ups right for closing deals. Just read your post about the importance of domain health checks in 2044 and the steps to do them effectively. 
Okay, I don't know why clay is tweaking right now. Um, all right, I'm just gonna pause this video uh, until I have all the outputs. All right, so I'm not sure why it's not showing here, but here are the outputs at least. Uh, and usually, by the way, it doesn't take this long to generate the outputs, but it's always when you're showing something. Um, anyways, so here you can see just a uh, LinkedIn, a you just read your post about the most po powerful tool in scaling outreach, spin tax. Well, that's not true, but <laughs> just read your post about setting up secondary domains to improve email deliverability. Just read your clear, you get the idea. These outputs are fairly consistent and um, they look sort of natural. Of course, we can tweak the prompt a bit and fine tune it. But I think this is absolutely, um, absolutely well, good enough to um, send out that scale. Anyways, that's it for me in this video. Now, uh, if you want a more in-depth course about um, cold email, then you can sign up for my SaaS, vinna.ai, and you get a course included. When you sign up, we have weekly coaching calls where I help you personally with your challenges when it comes to cold email. Um, and uh, yeah, it's just an awesome community. And you also get access to a extremely uh, good tool. Anyways, that's it for me, and I'll talk to you guys soon, hopefully, and cheers.